Ah, good game, Saints. Let's get straight to the game recap with... We thought this was going to be a shootout, and that's certainly what it looked like it was going to be. But the big play didn't come from Drew Brees on the Saints opening drive. It came from their all-purpose quarterback, wide receiver, tight end, running back. We've heard enough about him. Big bomb, 45 yards. And I wonder, with these two plays... After a touchdown run by Kamara, how much were the Vikings missing Sandejo on the opening drive? Would he have been able to cover the guy deep? Would he have been able to run down and make the play on Kamara for a stop before the goal line? Who knows? We were hurt, and that was a big theme of this game. But the Vikings answer on their opening drive. They start passing Thielen. Right run up the ball with Latavius who very much looked good in this game despite his numbers didn't tell the story but who does tell the story is Adam Thielen mossing the Saint. Thielen's too good. I, I hope I hope Thielen at least took him out to dinner before he fucked him. Uh, uh, then Diggs is like yo I'm good too and just makes it Great catch, but the Vikings stall on the goal line and it through field goal. Just kidding. Zimmer says no. I got balls of steel and goes for it on fourth down and an out route to Diggs. The perfect toe drag and man, were they good in this first drive and even really good in this game. Perfect, you would say. Wait, almost perfect. Uh, but this, then we get another drive. It's more Thielen. He can he can catch balls. He can also run with balls. At least early in the game. And then Diggs screen. This Diggs screen game's looking really, really good early on. But then the bomb, the flea flicker, wide open. It's Thielen. It's so fun to watch this Vikings offense, especially early in this game. This first half Vikings offense was probably the most fun I've ever seen the Vikings run an offense. But then again, in the red zone, we stall. Uh, we go deep looking for Aldrick Robinson. We get a good uh, a penalty on him, but why not? Throw to Robinson, only does is catch touchdowns the way old number 17, Jerry, so all he does is catch first downs, gives us the first and goal. Latavius stretches the ball over. Touchdown. We're up after a stand on defense. We're up 14-7. I'm thinking, all right, this is a shootout. This is what we need to be, but... <laughs> Poor Beth with the uh, not even, it, it looked like for that didn't it? It's Dan Bailey Bailey missing that field goal, which gives the Saints enough momentum, and it was kind of the first little thing that caused the Vikings demise in this one. Luckily, we catch a break. Kamara does drop a pass on third down, forcing a field goal attempt. It's drilled. So, well, the Vikings. Have to answer it. Only up by three, should have been up by a four. Need a whole full touchdown. But the way the Vikings are driving, why not throw it to Thielen? Throw it to Diggs. It's worked all year, but we can't even block for a three step drop out route. A lot of this, as good as Cousins was in this game, he had a couple really dumb plays. That was one of them. Three step drop, get rid of the football. Another play later on when he almost fumbled. Uh, Could have been a big play, but. Even though we just had that missed PAT and the next offensive drive for the Saints, it's Harrison Smith intercepting Hall of Famer Drew Brees. So the Vikings have a chance. It's a two-minute drill. At the end of the half, we're going to double dip again. Already up by three. We're driving. Nobody can stop us. We'll at least kick a field goal. At the very least, we'll miss it. Still be up by three. No problem, but we're in the red zone. Well, we're gonna, of course, throw it to Thielen. He's the god. Trying to make a few... He fumbles! Are you kidding me? He fumbles in a giant return, and it's even worse because Laquan is like, alright, I'm gonna tackle you. Now I'm pissed! And throws his helmet for no reason whatsoever. The dumbest play I've seen in all my years of watching football. What are you doing? You did everything right. You didn't fumble. What are you pissed at? That was the dumbest thing. At least do it on the sideline where nobody can see. But instead of being at the very worst, stalling to be up only 13-10, we're down 17-13 at halftime. But we get the ball back at the start of the second half. We're driving. Laquan tries to make up for a little bit, but those 15 yards were so big. Oh my goodness. Uh, but we go for it on 4th and 1. Zimmerman was so aggressive today, and that was such a dumb throw. Why are you throwing it? 4th and 1 to Laquan against their best corner, Marshawn Lattimore. Basically, 
they have three or four good defensive players. He's the best. And you're targeting him against our worst receiver. Gives the Saints a chance. They're driving. They get a chance, and they won't. You know they won't disappoint, but the Vikings do get a stop in an intentional dra- grounding. So they're like, all right, so this will be a really long field goal. Maybe he'll miss it. We'll be back into it. Nope, drills it down the middle. How does it feel to have a good field goal kicker? I do not know. News to me. But sorry, the Vikings still driving. It's Diggs this time. He won't mess up. He's perfect. He's always oh, so good. He barely makes mistakes. Barely. And here's one of them again. Pick six. And basically game over. I don't think we need to see much more of the recap. Uh, The Vikings really held their own against a really good Saints team. A top five team. uh, top Probably a top three team in the NFC. I still think the Vikings are definitely in that conversation. Uh, But yeah, it was a tough one. Uh, I thought the Vikings did a lot of things right, but also a lot of things not so right. Basically two huge mistakes. That was the the difference in this game. Uh, But let's look at who... Played well. Let's look at this box score. And on paper, man, Kirk Cousins looked good. 31 out of 41 for 359 yards. Two touchdowns and interception that was totally not on him. And four sacks for 21 yards. Our own line played okay. Our interior only got pushed around all day. But And Ryan uh, O'Neal got pushed around by their stud DN all day, Cameron Jordan. Uh, but besides for that, <laughs> our run blocking I thought was really solid, so it's nice to see our run blocking finally to where it's supposed to be. Uh, but Cousins, two touchdowns, one interception, a couple really, really stupid plays. He almost fumbled again in this game. Um, he was just scrambling. He, he had about 15 seconds just chilling there. It looked like his Madden self. Maybe that's where they got the idea. Good job, EA. Uh, but he was just scrambling. He, there's nobody there just going out of bounds. I guess he just doesn't have that gene. I don't know what's up with Cousins. Just throw it out of bounds. But it could have been a fumble. We got lucky. It was reversed. Uh, but nevertheless, it was a two-yard sack. When he was just thrown out of bounds, it goes back to the line of scrimmage. Just play it. Live for another down. I don't know what he's thinking. Uh, but that was just one of those dumb plays. And I hit a couple other plays that were possible interceptions as well. Uh, but... Numbers-wise, says he does really good, and most of the time, especially in the first half, he was so good. So many good, crisp throws, So such good timing with almost all the wide receivers making good plays in this game. Uh, so let's look at the receiving game, and of course, Stephon Diggs and Adam Thielen, on the box score, look basically perfect. Diggs, 10 catches on 11 targets, 119 yards, and a touchdown. Basically perfect, but that one target, you didn't catch it, was his fault. Keep running. What are you doing? And then Thielen, 7 for 7, 103 yards. Perfect. Hey, buddy, fumbled. <laughs> uh, basically a story. Uh, Rudolph, 4 for 39. Latavius, uh, 5 for 39. Laquan, 3 for 25. But the stupid, 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 stupid penalty. What are you doing? It's dumb plays like that. I can handle a couple drops early, early in the year. I can handle that. But when you throw your helmet for no reason whatsoever, that most likely with how good the Vikings defense was in this game, which we'll get to in a minute, would probably would have just been a field goal, and the Vikings would have been right in the game. But he throws his helmet for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> ah, that's, just, well, that's the type of things that will get him on the bench and let Aldrick Robinson, who had one catch for 19 yards and a pass interference on him to get us into into you know, the goal line situation, uh, could get take, start taking reps. I like Laquan's run blocking. I think he has some uh, worth for uh, offense, but he can't make stupid plays like that. No way. Um, yeah, so uh, running, running the football today, Latavius doesn't look great in the box score, but 13 carries for 56 yards, 4.3 average, a touchdown. Basically what you expect from him. You'd like to get him about 20 to 25 carries, especially when he's the only featured back with no Dalvin. Rest in peace. I hope you can find yourself a hamstring, thank God. Um, but otherwise, Adam Thielen had 1 for 15, Mike Boone 3 for 11. So Latavius was obviously the only real workhorse today, and 
when you get down just a little bit too early, we cannot really feed on only 22 carries on the day. I think we'd like to run the ball about 30 times. So it would be nice if in a game like this where Latavius is the guy, if he would have had five or six more carries, it would have been a lot nicer. And I think he would give us a chance to um, get to the second level, pound it through. And you see the average go up from 4.3 to about 4.8, maybe even 5. Uh, but unfortunately, we had to pass a little bit too much. But where the Vikings defense was really good at was the Vikings defense, was stopping Drew Brees. Uh, 18 to, out of 23 for 120 yards, one touchdown, one interception. It looks like a Teddy Bridgewater game. Is my boy Teddy? Giving Drew Brees notes, not a lot of yards, uh, one touchdown, one interception, and you know that even ratio there, but a giant high completion percentage, taking a lot of those short passes. My God, a lot of, Mikey, a lot of Vikings fans hate that. It's weird when it's the other team does it to you, you're like, oh, why didn't you stop that? Oh my God, sometimes it works. Teddy can do that too. Uh, Taysom Hill had that one bomb for 44. And running the football, it, it felt like they did a lot better than what their uh, score sheet shows. Mark Ingram, 13 for 63 for 4.8. Uh, Kamara, 13 for 45 for 3.5. It felt, it felt like every single time Kamara touched the ball, he got 8 yards, but a 3.5 average. So on paper, we held him to check. On, they had 29 carries for 3.7 yards. So that's not really too bad, along with only 17 on the day for the Saints. Uh, but... I, it was just just enough. I mean, our offense wasn't to blame when you, or our defense wasn't to blame. Our offense basically gave up 14 points. So holding the Saints to 16, that's really good. Um, but our, with our with uh, the receiving, who hell who got the, all the passes for the Saints? You was expecting a huge day for Thomas. He had five receptions for 81 yards, no touchdowns. I think we'll absolutely take that. Trey Wayne's. And Holton Hill played so good in this game, keeping everything in front of him. I think they both absolutely did their job, especially Holton Hill. Holy cow, you thought Breeze was going to pick on him and get 250 yards just throwing to Holton Hill. But good job. I mean, 80 yards isn't bad for Thomas, but when you're going into banged up secondary for the Vikings, you're expecting a lot more. And our, our backups and Trey Waynes, did very good. Uh, Alvin Kamara, 7 for 31. Again, it felt like every single time he got 10 to 15 yards when he caught the ball, but only a 4.4 average. I don't like that in the first half. We're like, all right, Kendricks, you sucked all year long covering man-to-man uh, -man coverage, basically anybody, but especially against running backs. You got this! What? You got this! We believe in you, Kendricks! And then took to the second half for like, alright, maybe Jane Ron Curse got this, you know? He's a safety, he's a little better in coverage. Why does that take so long to make that change? Just do that right away. Alright, you see Kamara absolutely torching Kendricks. Let's keep Kendricks in the box a bit more and let Jaron chase after him and see if 5'5 five five Kamara wants to get tackled by 6'5. Um, uh, curse all the time. Uh, Mark Ingram had 3 for 29, but that's basically it for the Saints uh, as far as their receivers go. And the Vikings defense was pretty quiet in this game. The one interception from Harrison Smith, but also he got kind of got burnt on the big pass for by Hill. Uh, no sacks in this game. It looked like Hunter had his sack, but they called it a run play, which is a little, little bit annoying, especially for especially because it could have been a little bit of a win in the Vikings fans' columns. Like, yeah, at least Thielen and Hunter got their streaks still. Uh, but no, our defense was really quiet, and especially... Uh, Everson Griffin, I was really excited to see Everson come on with a big game, uh, but no dice. Uh, I think he gave up more penalty yardage than he stopped, uh, but it's still nice to see his presence still in the game, so hopefully next week, and especially after the bye, he'll be doing a lot better, a lot more Everson Griffin things on defense. Uh, but their tackles for the Saints are really good, so you wouldn't expect the ends to have a huge game regardless. Uh, and... Yeah, I think that just about covers it. Uh, the defense was boring but good. No real turnovers, no real pressures. Uh, the Harrison Smith interception was the only thing to write home about. Special teams is boring, except for Dan Bailey uh, pulling his Kai Forbath, pulling the PAT. Uh, but besides for that, a very winnable game. The Vikings shot themselves in the foot two times, costing the big points. That difference won the Saints the game. And when you're down half your starters on the defensive side of the ball, 
even if we outright lost by 10, I think that's something to hang your head on. And uh, I see a lot of Vikings fans all saying, oh, this is so embarrassing. How is it embarrassing losing to one of the best teams uh, when we should have lost basically at full strength with, you know, Case Keenum in the playoffs? Uh, Losing by 10 with half your defense, though. I think we play just fine. Uh, if Thielen and Diggs do their thing all game, which you can't expect them to be perfect all the time, but it sucks when it both happens in one game. If either one of them doesn't happen, uh, it's a ball game. So it's just kind of a bad luck game. You have all these injuries lined up against one of the best teams. Uh, your best players make one mistake each, and this is what happens. So I don't think it's a bad game, and I think it's very telling of how good this team is, especially the depth on the defensive side of the ball. A lot to look forward to for this Vikings season. We're halfway through, uh, so, so stay tuned as we review the Saints game coming up in a bit. Otherwise, we'll see you guys in the next JROC Vikings video. See you guys then.